Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Space Engineers and today's project is going to be starting off building our main vehicle forgetting about um, this one's going to be the prior vehicle to our main flight vehicle well this one's going to house a lot of stuff for us so it's going to hopefully house pretty much a mobile base uh, one of the main things I want to get onto this is a drilling platform which I need to work out the mechanics for so that we can drill deep down uh, for the materials that we need now we're blessed with meteor strikes which have hit the base a couple of times um, but you can see we've got a few bits and bobs surrounding us that we might need like platinum, silver and gold which we definitely need to get out however we don't need that just yet because what I'm going to do is put on this so that we don't die from the windstorm that's going to turn up is I'm going to basically build a skeleton today. Uh, this is a large block vehicle, so hopefully this should perform pretty well for us. And we want nice and big, because this is basically going to pull um, the entire base. One, two, three, four, I think. Oh. Six wide, maybe. I don't even know if this is high enough. Uh, we may need to make this higher. I think we do need to make it higher. So let's just go ahead and do that. Now I want to try and build this as much as possible without using my jetpack because ice is a luxury we do not have on this planet. It's a desert planet with very little ice. The only ice I've seen is the ones dropped off the asteroids. Yeah, there we go. Okay, the oxygen has dropped. Uh, why are these randomly in... They shouldn't just randomly float like that, but there you go. Okay, right, so... Let's make it a little bit higher, shall we? Uh, there we go. Right, I think this should be high enough now. And we're probably going to... Oh, there we go. Ugh. Uh -huh. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Twenty. Now I don't know if this is gonna be long enough, but what I want to do is basically set up a skeleton of the main vehicle that I can then add to a later stage. One, two. Six, seven. Is that going to be wide enough? I don't think it is going to be wide enough. Uh, saying that, we don't need it too wide, to be fair. We just need the power in it. Uh, but, of course, I need to go up here to drop that off now. Five wide is actually 11 wide, so... Um... Yeah, let's let's go for five wide if we need to we can widen it later one two three four and then one three four five right and we want Off-road wheel suspension right, then off-road suspension left. This is obviously our right, so five. Ooh, that's a big tire. A very big tire. I'm not sure which way this is going to go. I think that's the right way. Let's hope it is. Yeah, I don't actually think it matters. I think that's kind of middle. Jesus, look at the size of that tire. That's a big tire. I think this is going to be bigger than I actually expect. This suspension, right? Okay. 
get rid of it. Don't you laugh. Rotate the right way. Why is that going? Apparently, I can't do it that way. Is that way then? I thought these are right. Okay, we can now switch to low oxygen. Okay, right. What size are these? Down the bloody hole. Let's see if I can. I get an angle. I have to jump weld. Oh, what am I doing? Jump weld at all. Uh, okay, I went right through the suspension. Is that the right height? Everything's the right height, at least. Let's put the suspension up. We're going to need a lot of stuff here. Well, it's going to fall through that suspension again. Yeah, it took me through. Now I have gone out already and gathered um, a bit of iron and a bit of silicon just to uh, help us get through with the production because this is going to take a lot of stuff. Obviously, you see, we, we we're going to need a lot of uh, large tubes. Don't have many of already. Um, Let's just get some gold. One, two, three. Obviously, with this being such a big build, it's going to take a lot of stuff. Take what we've got. Lock it up. More steel plates. That's in the wrong container. Here we go. All right. That'll do us for now. We're full up. Once we get this on its own wheels, hopefully we can lock it off. Now we may need to put some power supply on it as well. Just so we don't lose the uh, the build itself uh, when the server clears everything up. This is going to take a lot of resources to build, I think. And a lot of welding. Maybe we should have built a welding ship for this. Okay, right. And wheel number four. It's prompted us to try and weld from above. Come on. You know what? So annoying. Okay, right. Now we can go up and weld the uh, suspension, which hopefully is the right way. Uh, large and small steel tube. And of course, construction components, as always. Okay, let's get all the steel plates into them. Right, and then gather as many construction components as we can. 
So this is going to be a couple of episodes to build this, I think, because it's going to be huge. Um, this is just the start of it, as I say, just to kind of get an idea on what we want. Uh, I need small steel cheese for definite. Pushing components in and moment. Definitely gonna need some power, so let's just make a hundred power cells as well. We have at least something to work off. That'll be good. Right. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure that's the top. Oh, that's good. Stop using our jetpack. Looks like the top, so... Thought we got it right first time. Good. It's a massive... I forget how big they are, it's been that long since I've built something on a large scale. I usually quite enjoy building the small grid stuff uh, for miners and stuff like that, just because they are um, a little cheaper to build, and you get a little bit more flexibility when it comes to you know, your shapes and sizes. Because these are so big, you don't really get much room to do um, kind of little, uh, little fancy things, like the front of the rover that I did, and... Um, obviously, we, I made some improvements off camera to the to the miner so that it now operates a little bit better. Put some outer armor on it. Not welded up properly yet, but you know, just the shape of them look better. I just find like the large grid stuff doesn't come out quite as well. Right. For them. Hopefully, they'll start building power cells. Battery, battery. Heal plates as well. Plonk a battery there for now. Excellent. Oh, want to press that. Oh, excellent. We've got most of the resources as well for the power. We just need the power cells. That's good for us. We're in low on energy. Jumping our low rover for a second. Charge up. That'll do us. Uh, power cells. That's what we were after. Uh, 29 power cells, 34 there, not quite enough, don't think we can carry all that, oh we might be able to carry all that, 6 more, 5 and 6, yep. we could carry all 80, I'm just quite surprised about that. Okay, that's the battery done, so that's our build technically safe. Excellent, right, so where's our off road wheel? Uh, I'm hoping if I turn the wheels off, it means they can't move. I can find out. I'm hoping I can now break this off here. Not sure why they're hovering. I need to check out that. But I can. Oh, let me down. 
Uh, from station. Info. Right to ship. And note the wheels being off. Do not stop them from moving. Toggle wheels on. Uh, bounce into something. While I mining ship stopping it at the moment. That's fine. Looking at the size of this, I'm thinking we're going to need it even longer than this. Um, that's going to take four lots of blocks. Like so. Yeah. More steel plates. Our steel plates. Let's get some interior plates as well. We need some um 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 and probably a display and computers. A lot smaller in the survival kit production. Don't need you anymore. Take you out of there. Perfect. Right. That should now connect to that. Excellent. Okay, so that's fairly low down. Go ahead and double up the spine as well, just in case. Yeah, I'm thinking something along the lines of this long here. Ideal. Pop up here for a second. Okay. Uh cock cockpit. Uh a seat. Uh do we need Don't need for buggy cop. I think I've got all them. Oh, it's only a small grid. Uh, seat, control seat. Need a uh, flight seat or control seat. Oh, it doesn't really matter. I'll plunk you there. We're going to need some more computers, I think. We need some more computer. Have any more computer? Not. Let's switch that. Let's build some computers. Oh. Oh, I was two computers off. Ugh. All this way for two computers. There we go. Right. Let's just move this forward. Okay, so oh, I need to roll on its weight. Now let's just hold that there for a minute. Now what we can do is, is, is as a matter of fact, we will do that. Is we can upload our suspension height. Uh, go. It looks like suspension is working just fine. We got the brake on, and then we can set the battery to recharge. Right, everything's switched off now. 
And then I want a solar power plant because I think solar power. I think if we place one just on the back end of here. For now, charge that battery up so we've got a bit of charge on it. It's going to go right away for me. Thank you. Jump on the top of it. We need 12 girders and 32 solar cells. I can live with that. Mm -hmm. So, got girders. Production solar cells. Where are you? 32? I think it was 32. We'll do 36, I guess. I don't know why 36 is in my head, but it's in my head. Where are you? Well, they take up a lot of space. Okay, we're good to go. Go ahead and weld that solar panel up. Oh, missed it. Perfect. Okay, right, that should should charge. It's not got a hundred percent, but as long as it's got some, it should hopefully charge the battery. Have a look and make sure the battery is fully recharged in eighteen days. Well, it's recharging, so that's the important thing. We don't need to worry too much about anything else. Doesn't look like the sun is going up a bit. Good for us. Okay, so yeah, I think this is going to be the front of my vehicle. Let's go ahead and set up more. One, two, three, four, five, and then that wheel right again. Tension left. Five, five, right. Can't get a tire on that, but that's not a problem. What I can do is double check. We're definitely going to need this. how many spaces we have. Like that, so one. Two spaces. One, two. Place three. Four. Four. Oh, there. That's our two I think this is gonna be off for the look like it. Two. Uh well we only need four tires for the front steering anyway so I think we'll be all right with that uh, one two yep four five drink one two one five Oh, we're starting to get wheels coming back on, which is good. Yep. Four, five. Need all the power in the world to drive this thing. One, two. Five. Still going there. One, one. One, four, five. Uh, obviously, I can't take that off at the moment, but we know that that needs to be the block that we do it from. Ooh, 
don't cut our spine off. And that should give us a good platform for... Have a look how it looks. We've got the two forward. You know what? I think leaving a gap of two is not going to work. I think it's going to have to be... Oh, damn. Hmm. It's going to be after three, maybe four. Yeah, three looks. Okay. I think that's going to be more of a chance. I had to think that might line up. One, two, three. Two. That. Come on. Two. And that going to fit in. I think that looks like it's going to be better. I know what we weld these off. Okay, right. Get this one. So that one's in place. One, two, three. One, two, five. Up there. Nine. How's that look? That should should fit the tire in there, I think. Three, one, two. Nine. One, two, three, one, two. And that still fits our rear tire in there. Or it should. Okay. I think for this episode, that's going to be it. We've already took some time building stuff, so... But well, we've got the... Start of it, at least. We've got some of the frame done, so we'll get back onto it on the next episode. Uh, well, hopefully we can have all the tyres done and then we can start working on the actual shape of the vehicle. I've got an idea for the shape of the vehicle in my head because obviously this is going to need to pull something along with us and I'm probably going to have uh, the mechanism for the pulling um, kind of sat in the middle of the axle of the second to last wheel so that any of the weight is held there and we'll put the batteries in the front of the vehicle on this one here that anything on the back end will obviously be counterbalanced by the front weight of this vehicle. This vehicle will also be able to disconnect itself and operate as a station, as a, its own little base away from base type of vehicle. Um, I still may extend it yet. I'm still not 100% on its length, but right now I'm happy with what it is. Um, this terrain, I have done a bit of a scout. The terrain's actually fairly flat apart from here. We got these mountain range. Everything else is fairly flat. We do have some areas where they've got like a little bit of a ravine here and stuff like that. So we need to start looking at ideas to traverse that. That might be just something like a, a scoop or something on top of it just to do something like that. But that's us for this episode. Let me know in the comment section if you've got any suggestions, ideas or anything like that. But until next time, everybody take care for now. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye for now.